All right, everybody, we'll take a quick look at the uh, the LCK slates. Uh, we're between matches here. The uh, KT Rolster did sweep, and it's kind of hard to say um, what the, the nuts is going to be. I mean, Piosik had a good a good series. BDD had a good series. Deft had a good series. I mean, everybody kind of had a good series. Actually, Deft sort of underperformed, I guess, relative to his expectation. Um so all these people that really wanted to cram deft into the captain, what they, first of all, they all ended up having to play KDF, which is what we talked about in the previous video. The way uh, salaries worked is if you wanted to play deft up here um, and also T1, it was very difficult. So what ended up happening, you look at this in the Triumphant Warrior, you have a four-way chop um, out of, you know, 16 total entries. And all of them have KDF as a, as a big underdog, which is actually good for us, okay? Um, so this is actually a pretty good, this is this is actually good for us. Now, at the top, you have Hurt, who, again, he won it pretty good yesterday. He, um, he did what I was suggesting, and that was playing KT maybe with, T1, but maybe be non-traditional at the captain. And he was sharp. He put Piosik up here. But then what he ended up having to do, same thing, is play KDF in the team position. So again, a three-way, you know, two-game sweep for T1, giving T1 the, the bonus is going to hurt him. Um, so the guys that are in first are sort of fragile here. Um, then you have uh, LT dog who went a different route. He wanted to do KT in the four man as well um, and put KT in the captain. So he opted to go barrel in, in support in the captain, which is risky, um, but he's actually in pretty good shape. So if T1 does sweep and gets a good, you know, performance out of Gumiusi, I mean, he could pass all these guys because um, he's only, you know, 40 points behind and he's got, you know, 80, you know, 80 carry as well. Um, so that's not bad. Then you have Fedoric, who has KDF. Again, we're not worried too much about him. Um, if we win, right? So if, in fact, T1 wins, you know, we have this kind of kind of weird way to get there. You know, we need Zeus. But, and here's the but, you can't have him go off too much because we have to hold off these guys with four-man T1 stacks. Um now, the good news is, is that this guy here, Dale Fish, he doesn't have Zeus at all. So we're not worried about that. This guy's got Zeus, but not in the captain, but then he's got three other guys. He's got Owner, Faker, and Gumiusi. So this guy actually is, is kind of annoying us, even though we're ahead of him 130. Um, but we got to keep an eye on that. Third and Schlong probably says too much to do. Um being 150 points behind us with the same same team we need, even though he's got an extra guy. And uh, B. Barrett, Tribe, probably a little bit, well, he's got the same lineup as third and Schlong. So first of all, we did well in that we were unique, right? We had one set of four-man dupes, which we want to avoid, and this two-man dupe, which we want to avoid. So of the unique lineups, I think we're we're okay, you know, I think we have a shot. Uh, with respect to the to the shock blast, it's kind of hard to say again because you have all these game stacks which really have no chance today. The game stacks are hopeless. So when you look at it by by PR, by just points remain by by fantasy points, you're not going to be, you know, these guys are not not live. Um, but these guys are. You know, the, these guys, the three-man with, with the put Piosik and the, and the captain, which I suggested, um, again, they have good scores and they have three left. But again, the guys, these guys had to take Juan Dog Freaks in the team because, again, uh, lineup construction and salaries made that necessary. And there's a huge tie, like a 45-way tie for this construction, which is we kind of want to see. And we're the next one under that. Now, under that, we have, again, we have a KDF as well. We have KDF, but it's one, two, three, just kind of standard. 
And that's actually not too bad. But you look at that, even that's like really heavily duped. So 30, 31 people. So again, even though we thought we were getting a little different by playing KDF instead of T1, the fact is, is that it ended up being really popular because, you know, salary kind of dictated that. The next, um, the next one was this KDF one, which also was pretty popular. This one is, boy, oh boy. I mean, how many, this is another 60 way chop. So we want to avoid that. The next one on the list here is this 444 with T1 with Barrel and the captain. We didn't play Barrel and the captain, but even this one is pretty, you know, 50 way chop. Um, let's see this one. This one is another KDF, but this one is only 11 way chop. So this one's actually not bad and something to root for. Um, with with Cuz and Andiel and Kwandong Freak. So set of a chance, yeah, maybe. And then you have the Bulldog, this one down here, which is live. Um, and that one only, wow, this one has only seven dupes. So that's that's inspiring. This one we don't have at all. Oh, this had DRX and the captain. Again, three KDFs here. So of the three-man stacks, um, I mean, I think that we have a shot here. I don't know. Then we go to the four-mans, which should be all the way down here. Again, you'd have to think that the KDF ones are, you know, most live, I guess, of all of them. This one with 374 with Dudu, Caria. Well, this one, again, does not have a pure four-man T1. So to have a four-man T1 is very difficult to have. Like, we don't even have one. We have we have a four-man KDF here. And we have, do we have any four-man T1s? No, there are no four-man T1s that are live. I mean, they're live, but... Well, look at this. It's like almost impossible. That's that's what we talked about. To have a four-man T1. See, this is what we need. These are the four-man T1s that are alive, but they're so far behind. And we talked about this. We talked about the um, the Triumphant Warrior with the owner and the captain one. And the uh, and almost all of them have owner and the captain with T1 as the four-man. Right, so this one's sort of interesting. No, this one has Teddy. So these are all dead. So it's, it was, it's an interesting um, slate uh, from a pricing perspective. And we're seeing it kind of play out. I'm, I'm going to be very curious to see how, uh, what the actual results are here. Um, the people will just kind of speculate as to what is live, but it's kind of hard to see until that first game kind of just lays out there. Um, may, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these these wild ones with, you know, the KDF in the team is going to be, is going to work. And maybe you need these KDFs. So I'm just curious what happens if the T1 just sweep, who wins, you know? Um, I don't know. I think we're kind of, we might be live for that one. We'll see. Uh, well, maybe we'll come back a little bit later, um, but maybe not. Good luck.